In this video, I'll be showing you the benefits of using construction geometry in your models. Each construction plane is added as a parametric feature in the timeline, allowing for them to update as necessary when modifications are made. In the first example, I want to add some geometry that is 8 millimeters down from the top of the model. We can use an offset plane to reference the top face and then specify the distance to offset. Now that the offset plane is created, we can sketch the geometry onto it and use the sketch to create our geometry. Now I want to create a hole at an angle for a set screw to hold down the shaft. We will use a plane at an angle to accomplish this. First, we select a line to specify the axis for the angle, and then we drag or type in that angle. You can see how I can now use that construction plane as a reference for a sketch, ultimately adding a feature at the angle that I've described. What if we wanted to create a screw hole on a cylindrical surface? We can use tangent plane to do just this. First, we specify the curved face. We can also specify a reference plane that the angle will be referenced from. Finally, we specify the angle that we want. After the plane is created, you can select the corners of the plane to resize it. And now, just as we did before, you can use that construction plane to create geometry. There are times when we want to create geometry from the middle of two faces. The construction plane will do exactly that. All we need to do is specify two planar faces, and the midplane command creates a construction plane central to those faces. Plane along a path allows you to create a construction plane at any point along a path. First, you specify the path, and then you specify the distance ratio from 0 to 1. For example, if you wanted the plane to be halfway along the path, you would enter 0.5 into the distance ratio. Be sure to continue through the mechanical assembly onboarding path where we will cover bodies, components, assembly relationships, and drawing. 